Oh, how Hi. you doing, bro? Greetings. Greetings. Hi. Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. How many? I was just telling the kids, like, there's a lot of great content on Netflix, but I don't know if there's anything more important on Netflix than this show right now. That's, Amen. It, it, it says a lot for a lot of reasons for, for men in and out of jail that's dealing with recidivism and, and for the parenting, all the, all the elements that goes into what, what happens. And uh, how does it feel to represent a part of that process that, that, that led to this this tragedy of these these guys that's that's been wrongly uh, incarcerated. How does this feel just play a part in, well, in well, depicting it? You know, I would say it's a blessing um, and a huge responsibility. And the other thing about it is that this affects so many families, mm -hmm. and there's so many different levels to it. It's the it is the when they see us because you're automatically guilty of something because mm -hmm. you're black or brown. It's going into the system without knowledge. Now you locked up and don't you either you can't afford to bail out or you can't get out because now you're guilty. Then when you come out, how it affects your family and your community. You can't vote. You can't do this. You can't do that. It, it, it's 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 a horrible cyclical effect that happens, and in this case of the story, we're portraying all for nothing. You have five families who were destroyed with one lie. Damn, I ain't raping no lady, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you what you need to do to get your ass up out of here. But you're not listening to me. It doesn't matter, you gotta listen to me. I to listen to me. Listen to me! Why are you not listening to me? will mess us up. They're not playing. They're not. Look, when the police want what they want, they will do anything. Do you hear me? Anything. They'll lie on us. They will lock us up. They will kill us. I ain't gonna let them kill my son. Like, I don't know if you remember, but when we was here for the Selma premiere, I gave you guys the uh, I Can't Breathe shirts. And um, yeah, I always tell people I that. I remember that. I always tell people that. Do you, do you know that I, I, I wore that, I wore that I Can't Breathe shirt to the premiere of Selma at the, uh, the public library in Manhattan. Yeah, that we was, all did. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was there too. Yeah. That's girl. <laughs> That's right. With Aretha, I got, I got my, my picture with the late Queen Aretha Franklin wearing my I Can't Breathe t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I always tell people like that the murders, the, the, the the murders by police is, is tragic, but what's more tragic is all the kids that's lost in the system, that that's losing their lives. And, and um, I, I, I what what can we what can we do? I mean, I know it's like an impossible question, but what can we do as a people right now to to, well, it's to not infect an change? Question. It's not that's the question that needs to be asked, answered, asked and answered. You, you know, um, it would be my, my 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 wish for at least my community to watch this. But when they watch this, get angry, but then let that let let that anger turn into um, questions and education. You know. Um, like what Marsha said earlier, that 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 could have easily have been my family. My my mom would have probably made some some of the same exact choices that those families made in that time had had I been in that situation. Right now, today, I don't know all of my rights. Like you know exactly what can happen. I know at least to know I, I need a lawyer. So for me, it's I would hope that the community watch this, get angry, but start to ask questions, start to make people accountable. We have to have accountability. What the police department did that was dead wrong, right? That they have to have accountability, but we have to make them accountable. And the way we do that is by showing up, making our voices matter. As corny as it sounds, voting, showing up to our town, our, our community our meetings, our town, our town hall, town hall meetings, and making our voices heard when we when something is wrong in our community. And the last thing I, I would like to see is the the, the worst disservice we can do these men for what they survived is by making this a dialogue of, a dialogue of us against them, meaning the community against the police department. You, you, you know, that will fail miserably, right? It won't work. We have to get back to what 
the vision of community policing looks like. We have to find that and we have to fight for that. That, that is our right and that is our responsibility. I also think that we have to bear one another's burdens. Because sometimes, you know, people don't, if it's not a problem for you, you just look at it from afar. Now, I don't have anybody in my family who's been um, in the system like this. I haven't experienced, I haven't, I don't have one jail visit under my belt. But the one thing I will tell you is that because I'm forever changed by this piece of art and this particular narrative, I then said, how can I be of service? So I, I uh, the first thing I did was to join the Innocence Project and become an ambassador to lend my voice and my platform for those who've been wrongfully convicted. Because there, but for the grace of God, go any of us. Yeah, uh, it's a great project. Um, I think it deserves. Uh, I mean, just not so y'all just get nice and dresses and, 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 and suits and walk across the carpet. This is because it, the it just needs to be highlighted and remembered in this period of time. So thank you guys for your performance. I know we didn't get to talk much. I hope we get to talk on the carpet tonight, but keep doing your thing. We'll keep on watching. Man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.